Hi, I'm Jeff Wallen and I'm with Amtrol's Technical Department and we're here today at the Amtrol Center for Education and today we're going to do a follow-up on choosing the correct expansion tank for your application and today's application is going to be boiler systems. Uh, there are many types of uh, boiler systems. There's gas, there's oil, there's electric but the main purpose is to heat water for closed loop heating systems. Why do I need an expansion tank? Quite simply, heated water expands. This expansion has to have some place to go. And this is a typical boiler installation and if you'll note, if that expanded water has no place to go, I'm going to get water out my pressure relief valve. And once that water starts coming out of there, it will go all over the floor in your basement. So the expansion tank, and as you note, it's an extra expansion tank, is part of the system. And what this does is it reduces pressure in the system and maintains that pressure in a safe level. The maximum operating pressure of this tank is 100 PSI. Most systems are between 30 and 50 PSI. And the maximum temperature of this tank is 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Note on this tank that there isn't a plastic liner in here. Well, on a hydronic expansion tank, you don't need a plastic liner because there's hardly any oxygen left in the water in a closed loop heating system. And because there isn't any oxygen in there, you have no way of starting rust in the tank. And of course, if you have rust in the tank, it will rot the tank out prematurely. So, I wouldn't need a tank rated to 150 PSI either because this tank is on systems that run between 30 and 50 and mainly residential uh, heating systems. The tank does not, again, does not have a plastic liner. So, this tank, which is a thermal expansion tank, which does have a plastic liner, again, if I may note, this tank is only rated to 200 degrees. Your boiler system will run between 180 and 200 degrees, which is pretty much the maximum temperature that this tank can accept. Also, if you'll note on this tank, it has a three-quarter inch connection. On your hydronic expansion tank, it's a half-inch connection. This will not fit into the same spot as the hydronic tank. And that concludes today's program. Please join us in the future for more help videos.